Butterdog? Butterdog, Butterdog commentating tonight. We have, um, uh, yeah, you could, oh, well, it's not my choice, it's the TOS choice. Uh, we got formerly known as, no, no, that is Cornet. That is Cornet versus Ty. Um, Big Tobacco, aka Young Clout God, is going to hop on to commentate this Pokemon showdown here. Okay, so, which one is Cornet? Uh, the, the Lucario. Really? Yes. Because he used to play PT, so. Yeah, so, so some, some things have changed. I played Ty a few months ago, I think, uh, and he was playing Pokemon Trainers. He's trying to pick up that character. I see. Cornet coming back from a little bit of a hiatus. He was cooking around with the Lucario a little bit beforehand. Yeah, uh, mostly was, known with the Greninja, but. I was talking with him uh, earlier. Mostly known with the Greninja. He has beaten Sharp and Pelka with Lucario before. Oh yeah, no, like, this is a real character. Uh, yes. it, it, it's interesting, we're seeing kind of two uh, two older heads in the scene, at least. Yes. Uh, well, Cornet's not too old. Happy 21st, buddy. Yes, um, indeed. Uh, but two people who haven't been around as much recently See, coming back to BSB tonight. Cornet shouldn't two -two be getting game. hit by that. Why not? Because uh, I do that all the you time. Can't, you, you can't hit Zard's shield. I do that all the time, and uh, yeah. he should know better. But he hasn't competed for a while. Fair enough. Anyway, so Cornet actually also used to main PT. Yeah. So, he's so did everyone in, like, 2019, Yeah, he's right? going to be pretty proficient in this matchup. Ooh, that was slick. Yeah, love that B-reverse. Uh, love that B-reverse. I don't know what it is that draws people to Lucario, but, like, I can tell when somebody gets it. Yeah, he, and Cornet gets he, it. He gets Lucario. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, like, it's, it's pretty slow right now. He's not, like, pushing for anything super hard. He's, he's using the... Um, like B reverse specials to command space really well. I think one thing I will say about the reason why Cornet's so good at Lucario is because he really likes letting his opponents kill themselves. Real. Like he likes letting them run into him. He likes, you know, seeing if they uh. You're gonna will, put like, a lot a of pressure option. on them. Yeah. yeah, and make them make a mistake, right? Yes. Oh, uh, speaking we like of that. a mistake, the missed tech there is gonna get punished. Uh, beautiful stuff from Ty. Why is Ty's tag rub my tummy? I have no idea. Somebody's gonna rub his tummy, and I really appreciate that. Get this man a tubby rub right now. Right now, he's just doing a little spacing with Squirtle. Uh, uh, the, the most natural character on the Pokemon Trainer uh, is gonna be Squirtle for Ty, just because sure. he used to play uh, Pichu so yeah, much. Yeah, Squirtle's so similar to those rats. He doesn't have the Quick Attack or the T-Jolt, but other than that, he's the got a similar frame, really similar, similar normals. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Spacing around kind of like the crawls and the tills, little forward air yeah. pokes, Oh, right? we love that B-reverse. I don't think that uh, Aura Sphere would have killed, so it was a good idea for Cornet not to let it go. Ty trying to mix him, but uh, Cornet nice going to be the one mixing, catching that spot dodge. This is a great spot for Cornet to be in, sitting at not too much of a deficit, but just enough of a deficit that the rage is going to start to build up for Lucario here. Um, yes. So it could be tricky, right, if Ty's able to find something quick yeah. with Lucario here, or with the uh, Charizard here, but... Ooh, Ty going for another one of those upbees, and Cornet this time ready to punish. That's exactly what you wanted, yep. Building Ooh, nice that. Nice spacing. Yeah, good spacing by Ty, not going to get caught. But uh, Cornet now really in control, just racking up this damage. Right, two super powerful characters. That should be the and, game. And yep, Ty goes for the uh, mm -hmm. the uh, Flare Bliss cheese off the ledge. Corna expects it, reacts hits him, to it even, and uh, gets that F smash. Hit groove. When you uh, any chance we could see Twitch chat? Yeah. Yeah. When you hit that uh, Flare Blitz on Shield, uh, it's you like get sent into million. lag, whatever, whatever. But yeah. the main thing is you will land on the ground uh -huh. and be in like pretty much a jab locked state, like you missed a tech, but you, you can't jab lock him out of it. If you jab him, he'll just get back up. So, it, so you just go up, you charge your best smash attack, and he'll die. Yeah. Is uh, how you punish Flare Blitz for everyone in the chat. And that he did. That corn had to, to seal out game one there. Yeah, I don't know. From Ty, I want to see more Squirtle play. Feels good in this matchup. And I want to see more uh, edge guards, because Ty seems really, really content to just sit there and lead trap with Zard, right? But right yeah, here, I yeah. want to see him, like, being Squirtles here is fine, but I want to see him get Cornet in a bad position and then go Ivy and go deep for that nair, go deep for Fair that down enough. air. I feel like that is a little tricky to hit on Lucario just because he has, like, so much verticality on his jump and, like, his up B. Uh, he really has a lot of options to mix off stage. Yes, so exactly. I understand why in this matchup you might want to play a little bit more passive on, uh, on stage. Exactly, but playing passive isn't really going to cut it here against Ooh. Cornet when you're, uh... When you're He's just, just cooking too hot right range, now. Yeah. Like, nice up B right there. Yeah, that, that's a true combo at that percent, I believe. Okay. Cornet tried his best to DI out of it. Not going to die from it, so it's fine, but ooh. Yeah, and one thing I've talked with Ty a little bit about is that I think he said that he's oh, least wow. comfortable um, on Ivysaur. 
So it does make sense that when he's in like these ledge trapping situations, he would rather just switch off to the Charizard. I will say Charizard has the best ledge trapping out of the three for sure. Definitely, yeah. Ivysaur's ledge trapping itself is not that great, but it's super duper rewarding if you get like a read or a guess right. Like you right, guess right, right on that Razor Leaf timing, they die. Uh, you guess right on that F smash, they die. <laughs> against etc. Lucario, if you guess wrong though. Um, yeah, you're a... Uh, you're, uh, Ooh, yeah, eating an F smash yeah. just like that. And Cornet up three stocks to one. I wouldn't call that guessing wrong. There's really beautiful spacing calling out the forward there. Yes. Ooh, and Ty yes. gets that up. He had a disadvantage. That's the uh, classic. The uh, big so, tobacco uh, versus uh, whatever. Unfortunately for Cornet, he's winning, um, which Lucario players hate to see. Yeah. Honestly, he just gets nerfed for winning, and that's why a lot of these Lucario players, including Cornet, actually, are going to drop him. Yeah, so many people think that Lucario is not a good character. What do you think about that? I think that Lucario is an okay character. No, I think this character is horrible. I think this character is dog shit. I think he's all right. He's good if you are good at, like, outplaying a person. No, I think Cornet's, like, yeah. gaming. Well, so Cornet has the Lucario player, like, blood. Yeah, he's you know? also just, like, crazy at Smash, right? He's got the gamer gene. This yeah, character, yeah, yeah. this character's ass. Well, I feel like it's, like, not that he's crazy at Smash specifically. He's crazy at Lucario. Like, or, like, he okay. learned the game on Lucario, so he's he kinda, has the ability he's to, like, cleaned up on him with like, that just Smash. hit those player habits. But, yeah, Cornet, solid 2-0, and, yeah, we both got to get off. See you later, chat.